if you're just getting started as a data analyst, you might actually have issues with designs. So in this particular video, I'm going to help you solve that particular challenges on how to get inspirations from different sources. So here is my LinkedIn profile. You can follow me on LinkedIn as well. So in case you want to actually get inspiration, all you have to do is to make sure you come to LinkedIn and optimize your LinkedIn profile to follow the right people, the right industry, and just leave the rest for the algorithm to take care of it and actually make sure that the right people follow you as soon as you follow the right people. Okay, uh, let me step into this particular post I have actually shared over time. So if you actually love any post, you can share it for future reference and all of that. So let's say you actually like a particular person's post, like this particular one right here as a case study. You can click on it to look at it. So over here is a simple design, very simple, nice background and stuff like that. So the first thing to check is to check which software was used to actually get this created or tools. So it's actually Power BI. Can you see it now? So what can you get from here? You can actually get ideas on how to create your own next background to look great. Can you see it now? Something very simple. You do not have to copy this particular person 100%. All you have to share from here is inspiration. So if I if I were asked now, like what kind of inspiration, inspiration can I get from here? I would say I'll get inspiration for the KPI this person created. So we are seeing to touch sales now for the specific month selected and the previous month and the changes between them. So if you know how to use DAX, Excel, or Tablet to create this, you can actually get to use the inspiration of how this particular card is being used or formatted and stuff like that. So simple chart, not too much charts right here. Make it simple, keep it simple, have multiple pages. So let's say we want to step into more detail if we like this particular you know, person's you know, kind of dashboard. You can click on this particular person's name and um, it's gonna take you to the person's portfolio. Oh, sorry, profile. So once you're actually inside the profile, you can see the snippet of the videos he has actually posted for the dashboards he has created. And if we go down right now, you can click on show all posts. So right now we're actually inside his, you know, there are some kind of all the posts he has made. If we keep on scrolling down now, maybe you like this one, you can step into this. So right here, what you can see is the dashboard this particular person had actually created that has two different background. It has a dark version and as well, it has the light version. So this might be an expression for you to look at. How can I get this created? So maybe you are stuck right here. You don't know how to get this created. It's your first time. You have never seen anybody do this before. In case you want to actually, you know, uh, get in touch with this particular person, what you can do right now is to actually go ahead and some kind of just go back to the person's portfolio. So once you land back here, you can see where it says message. Just click on this particular message and actually leave a message. So the very first thing you have to do, don't just go ahead and leave a message straight up. You understand? And start asking questions. It might look some kind of boring and weird. So what you need to do for the first time is for you to actually leave some praises. If I, if I use that word, I don't know if that is right. So what I normally do is that I'll just come here. I was like, okay, I have come across several of your dashboard projects and they are absolutely remarkable. Thank you for your dedication and, uh, and for your, for, for empowering the data community with your incredible work. So your contributions truly make a difference. Then you send. So once this person sees this and this person had not followed you before, this person would be like, oh my goodness, this person is just trying to actually, you know, give me some accolade. So once this person replies to you, you can go ahead and start asking your question. Make friendship, keep that relationship intact first before you start, you know, asking any question about whatever, you understand? So this person wouldn't get pissed. Instead, this person will go ahead and actually answer your questions. So I have actually, I'm gonna tell you first time that 99.9% .9 of the question of asked on LinkedIn get answered. So there are more conversion here when it comes to interacting with industry people than any other community. You get it right now? So this is the first place for your inspiration. And uh, here you go. Let us go into the second one. Over here, we are actually inside public uh, tableau.com, which I'm going to be sharing the link as well on the, this video for you. So what you get right here is actually inspiration on people's work. Can you see right now? Can you see this? So in case you like the way this person created 
you know, her dashboard, what you need to do is to make sure you just step into any one of them. So right now we are here. Can you see it now? This is a live dashboard. It's not just an image or it's not a static, you know, dashboard. So once you actually click on this one, So what happens now, it filters and even drill down to a different you know, view for you to see what is going on. Can you see it now? This can be an inspiration for you, but let me just tell you one thing. What you can see right here is a Tableau dashboard, not Power BI dashboard. But as for me, I can convert any dashboard to something insightful using any tool of my choice. So what I want is not your function, not your formula, not the language you have used in creating the dashboard. It's just the visual aspect of it, right? Then I cannot translate it into my own kind of, you know, insight. So this is something very insightful right here. This person is showing a particular percentage and it's showing the year over year change, the previous year or year over year change right here. You can use DAX to actually get this created. All you need is an inspiration, okay? So let's say you love this particular person's project and you want to know about her or about him. All you have to do is to go all the way back up. So click on the person's name right here. So once you have done that, you would definitely see over here at the top right hand corner, this LinkedIn, click on it and it will open the person's LinkedIn profile for you. And from here, you can actually follow the person and actually just leave a message just like the way we have done before. And that is going to be beautiful. So after this person answered your first message, then go ahead and actually, you know, ask a question if you have any, right? So let us go into the next one right now. The next one is actually called, you know, um, Maven Analytics. This is a place where you can showcase your skill, your dashboard, your whatever. But why we are here is just to get inspiration. So if I click on this particular showcase here. So over here now, if I scroll down, you can start seeing different, you know, projects that people had actually created and posted here 100% free. So which means you can actually create one and showcase it right here as well. It's completely free. You don't have to pay a dime to actually host your portfolio right there. In fact, from now on, if you don't have a specific portfolio, create a portfolio right here. It's very simple. Just come to this particular website and actually sign up and just join their free plan to showcase your portfolio. You get it? So let us go to the next one. And the next one here is one of the beautiful places you can get inspiration from. As you can see, we already have a lot showing up right on this particular platform. So this is NaviPro.com. I'm going to be sharing the link as well with you. Just come here and check it out. And you can see lots of inspiration to create your next dashboard. The thing is this, don't copy exactly what you see here as your design, as your color. Just pick randomly some couple of colors some couple of dashboard layout that can actually give you what you want. What happens if I click on this one? So over here, you can see the layout of this particular dashboard, every single thing you understand. So if you love this particular project, you can actually find inspiration on what this particular person had done right here. Maybe the KPI part or the chart part, whatever interests you is what you need to copy. Remember, great artist copies, right? Great artists always copy, but you wouldn't notice that because they are some kind of, you know, top artist in the industry you might be thinking what they are doing is 100% from their, you know, brain. Sometimes that is not what it is. They copy other small creators to even become great. So copy other people and make sure you develop it in an extent that you start becoming very different, whereby you can think for yourself 100% without looking at other people's work. I, ne I will never look at those particular templates to get mine created because I some kind of have that particular raw, you know, um, creativity to bring up my own visuals. But when I just get started, I have to actually look at other people's work before I create. So with time, you get familiar with how to actually get your shape created. And all it boils down to is this. This here is what make your dashboard look beautiful. Can you see it now? Those are some couple of, you know, uh, background I'm creating inside Microsoft, you know, uh, PowerPoint. So this is what it is. So can you see? This is an inspiration.
So this is what you do for the first time. You sketch, sketching your dashboard like this, and you actually turn into turn it into something as this now. So what you're seeing here is a sketch from this. Can you see it now? So this is what you must do to actually get lots of inspiration, accumulate lots of inspiration until you are able to think all by yourself without looking out for any projects out there to have your square edit. I believe this will definitely help someone.